Hi you guys. Um, so I thought I would do a little uh, video on my pretty tree um, to kind of talk about what's been going on. Um, this week has just been a dreary, busy week. Um, Debbie has had more meltdowns than normal, um, which she normally doesn't have a lot of. And I'm not, I'm not recording that. I'm not putting that on here. Um, I just, it's not right. I mean, it, it's part of it, but it's not, that's not something I'm going to put on there that, you know, out in the public, unless he wanted it, you know? He can decide what he does with videos of him where he's having it, where I'm like, mm, I'm not using that. So, he's literally had one like every other day, pretty much. Um, so you guys haven't seen anything. I know Friday, Saturday, today is Sunday. Um, I think Thursday, maybe Wednesday was the last time you had one. And then we were like a day behind because of the same reason pretty much. So, um, uh, here's, here's, I figured I'd come on and just kind of talk for a minute. Uh, the car has been screwed up all week. Um, things that could go wrong have and so they pushed it back till Monday um, because the like parts didn't come in that were supposed to I mean it's the guy is really nice before anybody thinks like I've taken it somewhere shady I haven't this guy is really great usually when he says oh you'll get it back Wednesday oh you'll get it back Thursday oh you'll get it back whatever day he chooses that's the day you get it back like he's really good at that car repair body work and stuff and he works with you and he deals with the insurance so you don't have to he's great so um but uh because parts didn't come in things have been pushed back this has been like worst weekend ever um my mom's car of course has no heater and we've been down in like low 40s high 30s for this this week um because i haven't had a car all week and then um Friday, my grandmother had a doctor's appointment, so she did let us borrow the car after that. So, um, Saturday I used it, and Sunday I used it, and I'm using it again tonight. So, which is really nice, because I can take the baby, and I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Like him freezing, because when it's 32 degrees out, and of course you can't bulk them up, because they're like car seat, they're seat belts and stuff. So, you have to, um, you know, just like cover them in blankets and stuff and it's it's just he's he's got like three or four blankets on him and he's still you can see that he's cold so I feel bad so um I like that this car has a heater so he can stay nice and warm he has no issues it's nice so I and I can just put him in pajamas instead of like a couple of layers so like a onesie layer and then you know his like fuzzy full body pajamas with the feet the TD. I don't, I don't know what that's called. Zipper pajamas? I don't know. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. The fuzzy pajamas kids wear with babies. Um, so he usually wears a onesie and that. And then, and the pair of socks. A onesie, a pair of socks, and then he's got that on top. Um, he still won't let us put hats on his head. It doesn't matter if his little jaw is just quivering because he's so cold. He just won't let us do it. So, um, uh, we end up like using a blanket across the top so that way like the top of his head is kind of covered because you if you watch any of my vlogs you know my baby doesn't have that much hair so um so yeah so I got the tree done uh, I'll show you that here in just a minute like let me finish um, I was going to like decorate it with you guys kind of like set the camera up and decorate it and it that just didn't happen uh, I was half awake and I was like, oh, where did I get it done? And it took me a few because nothing had um, hooks. And the thing that came with these big, like, um, heart angel wings, I hope you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, they didn't, they have, like, this real thin, like, string you're supposed to loop through and then not. Um, except I, as you can see, I have arthritis in my hands and there's just no way that I can... To, to get that to work. It's just, I can't. I have really bad arthritis. And that's just not working for me. So, um, what else can I tell you guys about? Uh, what else happened? So, this is going to be like, um, this is like my intro. Hi, intro. Um, and then I'm going to show you a bunch of clips of little things that happened, like, that I did record over the last few days. So, um, 
one of them, it's been raining. That's the other thing too. It's like been raining off and on um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Not so much today, but definitely Friday and Saturday. Maybe Thursday too, I can't remember. Um, I can't remember that far back. <laughs> but uh, it's been raining and cold and the kitten uh, gotten, uh, Garth, I should say, got separated from Mama and, the, and his brothers, sister, siblings, his siblings. And um, he was screaming at my front door. So we let him in and Salem's okay with them. He just ignores them for the most part. Um, and he spent the day here. I think that was on Friday. And then Saturday, or well, he spent most of the day here from like 6 a.m. until like, I think it was 9 p.m. And then the next day, mom had showed up with one of the babies and I was like, oh, it's so sad because like I thought one of the babies had died. And uh, they were together and they, they all came in the house, even mama. And then uh, mama's feral too. I don't know if I've, I've told, ever told you guys, but she is feral. She, you just don't touch her. If you ignore her, she's okay with you. But she actually came in the house. And um, they were all, you know, playing and running around. We had to put Salem up because mama cat, I don't want him around her. Because her, he fights. He doesn't do regular, like, cats and dogs. He'll, he'll deal with kittens, but once they get older, yeah, he's done dealing with them. Um, but, so anyways, um, we had to put him up for a little bit because we let them come in, warm up. We changed the blankets that are outdoors because they had gotten wet. So we changed all the bedding and stuff that we leave out there for them. Uh, and pretty much they hung out for hmm, 30 minutes to an hour inside the house. And then we booted him so Salem could come back out. And then, um, because I hate locking him into a little room because he just sits at the door and cries too. And then, I want to say, I want to say Mama and the Babies was Friday. And Thursday is the day that we had Garth hang out all day. And that's because Saturday, today is Sunday, Saturday, um, we came home from the route and it wasn't Garth. It was the scaredy cat, uh, my, my oldest I think calls him Tangerine, um, it, it's the fluffy scaredy cat one and it was crying so loud and when I opened the door it ran into the house and you'll hear during the grocery haul, it has to be Saturday, you'll hear during the grocery haul um, the kitten crying because he just cries, that's what he does, he wants to stay by Salem and then just cry. And he's looking for his mama. He's he's smaller than the other ones. Um, but thankfully, Saturday evening, about five o'clock or so, four or five o'clock, mama and the other ones showed up, Garf and Simon, Simon and Garfunkel. So both of them showed up. So Tangerine went out with them. So that's, that's how we're working it. And I was so happy to see Simon because Simon is like identical twins with Garfunkel. Garfunkel's the only one that will let you actually pet him. Yeah. Simon wants to, Tangerine's terrified of you. But Tangerine will now come past you if you just ignore him like mama. So, I don't know. So, but they hang out on the back porch, which is where I want them because we've had so many like of the stray feral cats being ran over out front. Um, it's like, it's supposed to be like 30 miles per hour. I do live on a main street that's off of like the main highway people just come flying around the corner you know and or zooming up to the light doing like almost 50 before they slam on their brakes here in front of my house so a lot of times the cats like a couple houses the other way end up getting ran over so and that's where the wood place is it's kind of behind and over so it's sad um but yeah so you're gonna see cat videos some cat things You'll see um, a Walmart slash Goodwill haul because um, we did do that. You'll see a little grocery haul. It's a little fill-in. I need to meet meat and potatoes mostly. Um, we have things from my grandmother like carrots and stuff like that, but we needed that. And then um, <laughs> I told her, I'm like, next year grow romaine lettuce because I don't want to have to deal with all the bad stuff. <laughs> she started laughing at me. Um, and somebody put up that, that meme on my Facebook, um, that says, uh, cake is never, or romaine lettuce is bad for you, cake has never tried to kill you, or, and cake is now good for you, or something like that. Cake's never tried to kill me. And I'm like, um, 
cake had the same problem. They had like a whole bunch of boxes that were recalled for some brand, I don't know, for the same exact thing as the romaine lettuce. So I'm like, it'll all kill you if it comes from a store, pretty much. Um, but yes, so, I'm babbling. I gotta go do laundry, I gotta go finish that. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Um, there's a heater going in the background and my washer and dryer running in the background. So I've been doing laundry today, trying to get things done. It's just life. Life is uh, bitting me in the butt. So I'm gonna go drink my coffee though. And I'm going to edit this. You'll, like I said, you'll see a bunch of clips. I'm just gonna put them all together, stick them on there, watch them. Uh, I think the, I mean, it's not a bunch of clips. Like, I got a clip with the cats, and I got a clip with the Walmart, and I got a clip with, you know, the food from H-E-B. So, you know, you're getting what you get. Um, and it's mostly, I'm trying to remember to, to vlog. Um, when I go out and about, I don't think, oh, take a camera, take a phone. I don't, I don't think about that. I'm the kind of person that will literally lay my phone down and, like, not answer it, not not pick it up. Um, I'm the type of person that I don't put my cell phone in my bedroom. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people who do. I don't do that. My cell phone does not go in my bedroom. Um, I mean, I just, I don't see the point. People, I don't want to be reached 24-7. Like, unless you're, like, family or a friend that's so close I consider you family. Like, oh, I'm not caring too much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep when I need to sleep because I don't get to sleep that much. So, I'm going to edit this, finish laundry, drink my coffee because I got a coffee cup out there with some coffee in it. It is my second cup of the day and I am enjoying it. Um, I'm trying to cut things out. Um, I've already cut soda out, which I do pretty good with cutting soda out, but um, I still need to cut my coffee to one cup. And so I've had two today um, and normally I can have like three or four by now so yay me so as long as this is my last one we're okay and then I have to leave early tonight to go to work so because I open so I'm like the management there tonight so I gotta do that and do my paper out fun night but I will try and get better at you know, communicating with you guys and vlogging with you guys. I really do enjoy vlogging. I just, well, I enjoy making videos. I like making, like, my budget videos. I like doing that. I like things where I'm not, like, right in front of the camera. Um, I just, I don't like being in front of the camera usually. So, but, uh, what else can I say? That's about it. I'm going to show you my tree. I'll give you a little tour of the room. raining outside and both mama cat and her babies have come in so Garf's mommy did show up her and the one of the little ones so sadly we're down two babies yeah. and she herself is only a baby because she's got to be like a year old and as you can hear Salem is not happy because he's in the room but he has to be with mama in the house but it's raining really bad. Yeah, hi baby girl. And the kittens are running in and out of the bedroom playing. So, let me turn this off because she's like looking at me like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Flat tire in the rain. Sleeping baby in the car. Cranky Mother old. wants to kill us and go back Cran to bed. <laughs> Mother wants to kill us and go back to bed. Cranky old lady. She's allowed to be. Yep. This is how we're starting off our uh, our Friday. Well, at least we're at the end of our paper route, so there is that. So oh, yeah. It, it's not one thing; it's another guys so I'm kind of gonna do a haul I went shopping today and I look like shit sorry and I'm eating we have fried chicken going on here ignore my 
mess piles I got going on. But, oh, watch out, baby. Watch out. Good boy. So the first thing, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. This was brand new, um, and we paid, it says $3.99, but we only paid $1.99. This is the photo booth accessories. I just thought these would be so cute. So you kind of, I think you get all of this. And this will be so cute, um, not only to take photos of my, my oldest, but I want to um, take it over for my grandmother's. So, because I thought it would be funny to get older people doing it. And then, <laughs> I'm going to do like um, a pinky purple color on my tree. And I'm going to do, I have like a pinky star for the top of it, for my champagne tree. Uh, we have a kitten. And he's scared. So I found these. These were 79 cents. It's a five pack of just like um, heart shaped or angel wing shaped. I don't know how you want to say it. Glittery pink ornaments. And then these purple ones, which I thought were really cute. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause you. And I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, another five pack of ornaments. These are purple. I just thought they were so cute. And they're 79 cents again. And then I found a Christmas story ornament. And it doesn't have Ralphie on it. It's got the mom and dad, which I just thought was perfect. Very cute. Sorry if you hear the crying baby. Oh, hang on a second. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm going to keep pausing, you guys. And then I found this one. So they only charged us $1.99 for each of the ornaments. Or No, they were $0.99. Cents because this one was $0.99. Cents and none of the other ones had prices. So she just charged us the $0.99. Cents. And then my mom got some that were like massive. Like massive. Bigger than my hand. They're so big. But I just love this little guy. It's just a reindeer. And he's kind of like plastic. Supposed to look like glass. With gold glitter. So I love... I love that. Cat butt. Cat butt, cat butt. Got some movies. So, got Debbie the Muppet movie. That's the anniversary edition. My oldest has heard about this, and he's actually never seen it. And it's, it's a cult classic, so he has to watch it. So, got him Friday. And then... I kind of got excited. I saw some of this on Netflix. I might have seen all of this one, but um, this is Dexter, the first season, and like the discs are perfect. And then I found this. It says Dragon Enter the Realm. And I thought it's just cute little, like little bitty dragony stories, I think. Um, I don't know. But um, my oldest hates reading. He hates, hates, hates hates reading. Uh, the only book he wants right now is the Pokemon um, manga. And I'm, I'm looking for that one. I'm going to look on that Amazon for that one. But I'm hoping he likes this. And then another little Disney little golden books. We didn't have Big Hero 6. So I picked that up. And then I saw this and I thought of Debbie. So this is Silly Stickers Disney Pixar. It says it includes 28 stickers. You guys, I'm so sorry about the cat. And it has these little scenes. Like it saw Dory. And then there's Pixar Cars. And then there's Joy and Sadness. Or in a long-term memory. Use your stickers. Complete the scene. So there's just all kinds. And then I was like, well, it does no good if there's no stickers. Oh, contraire. There is a bunch of stickers. Including Bing Bong. And it looks like only one of them is missing. Which is the... Um, what are they called? The, not sea otter. Sea otter? Is it the sea otters? Those big eyes? Sea otters from Dory? I think so. I think there are sea otters. That's the only sticker missing. My little boy won't know the difference. And then we went to Walmart. And I found this Express Yourself Hot Pink. Ah! I'm so sorry I dropped you. Hot Pink Journal. And it was on clearance. So I picked it up. And then... This is for my son's Christmas Eve box. He has Krumpus. So I saw this. Mother Krumpus 2 sleigh ride. 
I thought I'd get him that. He really wants Diablo. This is like the main Switch game he wants, so I got him that. And then he has broken his Joy-Con controller. And like this one, it keeps you moving off to the left. So I got him a new one. And then of course, coffee. Because gotta have coffee and I love the caramel cream. Let me pause ya. And we're back. So, I also got him this. Now he gets one of these every year. He's used to this. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the one he likes, which is Phoenix. It is the uh, deodorant, the um, shampoo and conditioner, and the um, the body wash. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, body wash. And then it has a gold trial. Axe Gold, the trial deodorant body spray. So like the travel size. So I got that. And then I saw this and I thought, oh my God, it's so cute. And I can't give it to my little guy, but I'm going to give it to my oldest as like a gag gift. Look how cute this is. It looks like he's eating the box. It's called a Fuggler. A funny, ugly monster. This thing has like human teeth. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It says, warning, do not shake contents. This mischievous little creature within may generate ex excessive excitement with its unprecedented, unpredictable, sorry, personality. Sleep with your mouth closed and one eye open. Adopt at your own risk. And the other side says, does not come with manners. So, I just, I think it's this. I think this is what he's got. It's like the puppy one. But I just thought it was so cute. And he'll, he'll die laughing. He'll think it's funny. And then we got a couple of new ornaments. So here's one. Um, these are like not a particular order because I don't know what the other one is right at the moment. But they're the both of them are these fuzzies. This one, of course, is Harry Potter. I got some ribbon for red ribbon for my um, December daily tags. And then I got this little squishy guy. It's just a rubbery, squishy. It's not going to hurt him if he chews on it. Um, it's a little sloth. I thought it was cute. It's 388. It's pretty big. Like, as you can see, like, it's pretty big. Um, that's my hand. My hand is not small. So, um, it's a pretty big size booger. I figure Debbie will like it. It doesn't exactly play, play. I got my oldest three pairs of the Fruit of the Loom Super Soft. These have, um, I got an extra large, but I think that might be too big. Um, so I, he's got a draw tie though. So, and it has pockets, which were, and the kicker and the bottoms have the, this, so they're not just loose, which he will love. So I got him a black pair. I got him a blue pair. And then I got him like, I think it's charcoal gray is what they call it. Charcoal gray pair. So I got him all three of those. And these are not for Christmas. He can have these now. Mm. Okay. So one of the last gifts I have over here is this. And it is the blush pink um, shatterproof ornaments. So I am living for a few of these. So, oops, sorry. So I really like the diamonds. I don't know why. I really love the sparkly ones. And, oops. I really love these like, like shaped ones. I don't know, they're just so cute. I'm gonna put all of these on my tree-ish with the sparkles and stuff and with some of the gold that I have. So I think it's gonna look really pretty. So you guys can watch us do that. Uh, let me go stick this stuff away and then get my oldest son to help me get the rest. Hold on. Okay, so I also got this um, VTech Zoo Jam xylophone. Now, Debbie doesn't care about the xylophone, but it, um, oh my god, it stopped working. Oh my god, so I'm gonna have to take this out of the box because it has stopped working. So, but it only takes two AA batteries, and there was only like this and one other one left. So, it's just this little interim guy, and I'm going to cut 
this stick off so he's not getting that but he uses his finger and he plays with this he loves it here's the oh my gosh oh mima let's see if we can get it off there's glitter all over him from her flowers i bought my mom uh two sets of flowers which you won't see but she's because she's already taken them but um this is the other ornament which is Maggie. oh her flowers were covered in gold <laughs> And then, um, this is that little pink star tree topper for my, my tree in my bedroom. And then this is a big present. It's called My First Snowman. So if you, if you haven't seen any of my other vlogs except for this one, Debbie has a step to my first Christmas tree and he likes it. This though is a step to my first snowman and it comes with all these little pieces and it's literally, um, as you can see, like the baby here, it's like a, a Mr. Potato Head. You put the head on the body, you put the hands in, you put the big buttons on. Because see, they, they got little sticks, so he can't like choke on them. Because this is for 18 month old. So, um, and then this whole face part is connected along with the mouth. And then there's these big, you know, uh, ears, and then a hat, and it plays. Uh, lights and sounds, it says, and it plays, I guess, music, which Debbie will love. So, it's a gigantic Mr. Potato Head, except it's a snowman. So, got that for my little guy. And then, I still have a couple other things I have to buy him um, from Amazon, which I am able to do today, because I got a $50 gift card in my tips. So, that is what I'm doing. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to jump off here, y'all, because I want to eat my chicken. I have not had fried chicken in well over a year. So I'm going to jump off, eat my chicken, have some coleslaw, enjoy my dinner. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I went to H-E-B and I just picked up a few things that we needed. We were running low on um, a couple things to try. Mostly we need meat, believe it or not. So I, I did buy kind of a bunch of meat. Um, but we did get a few other things. So let me just go through it. Starting with the cats. This is that massive cat food bag. <laughs> I, I can't even tell you. I don't know how much it weighs. Um, it is, oh, 16 pounds. So it's the indoor complete. It's the H-E-B version, uh, the Texas pets. It tastes just like the... Um, Oh, what is that other indoor complete one? But it's it's just as good, and my cat likes it. And he's he's there, and he's being a dork, but he's picky. So, and then I got this um, guaranteed H E B guaranteed the clumping litter. We got a package of wheat bread. We got a small package of just the little tortillas. Um, my oldest son got some poppable sea salt. He likes that one. Of course, we um, I do want to pack up a few things for Christmas. Oops, nope. This is um, just a little butterball turkey that we picked up. Um, no. Then we got, um, it's almost two pounds of the thin sliced uh, boneless skinless chicken breast. And then I got a five pound chub of the ground beef. And then I'm gonna cut this into individual things and put it away. I got this hickory smoked, like it says uncured carver it's just a little ham i figured this is gonna go with christmas i did say christmas didn't i not thanksgiving i don't know uh thick cut bologna my oldest son loves this i got some smokies these are great just when i want something fast um we got the morning star farms um veggie burgers i know we got all this meat but we get veggie burgers they taste delicious um, we got another head of lettuce, another big bag of potatoes, because my oldest has been really into, um, just cooking up a couple of baked potatoes for lunch. Um, bananas, some Peter Pan creamy peanut butter. I did pick up two little ones of these. I finally tried, y'all, I finally tried the hazelnut. I love it. You don't need to add sugar or anything if you add hazelnut to your coffee. So, I like this. Um... But it's the hazelnut. They only had the little sizes. That's the only part that sucked. And then I want to try the caramel um, macchiato. I think that caramel might be good. Uh, sorry. 
Got the Gatorade Frost thing for my oldest son for tonight. It's Sunday paper night. And 100% uh, grape juice. We're going to try it with my youngest, but my oldest really has been wanting this. Got some junk food. We got some baby goldfishies. The 90 calorie fiber one brownie bars. These are the chocolate fudge brownie. And then the little Dutch made holiday cookies. I got suckered, y'all. How cute are those? It's just holiday shaped shortbread cookies. So, and then uh, we got two of the lemon waters. Um, we got a two percent milk, a gallon of two percent milk, and some large trash bags. And that's all we got. Um, and this cost a hundred dollars, which is kind of sad because I didn't get any deals today. Like usually there's there's some, but. Maybe this. I think this was like ten dollars or just a little over ten. But other than that, no deals. So it's thank. But hundred bucks, we got all this. So that's my little fill-in grocery haul. Okay, guys. So got my pink star. Hello, me. Got my pink star, and then I got the pink blush balls. And then the purpley heart, well, the pink heart wing thing. I think they're hearts. And then I got a gold church. More of the blush. I did keep it gold, so it's like that hot pink, blush pink, and gold. So, very cute. Very, very cute. I like it. I like it a lot back a little so yeah very cute and then you notice over here mr. And mrs. Claus scared the bejeebus out of Devlin so we have these guys and I'm gonna actually play them for you because they're really cute So they're actually an Avon thing, and I've had them forever. So I just think they're so adorable. So here's my room. And then Debbie's room is clean because he hasn't here. So, I mean, of course, he hasn't trashed it. It's all ready for him to play with. I got another load of clothes. There's some more that are um, in my oldest's room because some of this is his. I got some blankets that need to be washed. I am doing towels right now, as you can see. That's what we're folding. I still have to do Devlin's clothes and my clothes. Coffee. kind of cold so we're gonna heat it up a little um I gotta take this back to my mom's so that's the thing I've been drinking coffee with hazelnut cream uh, I like it a lot but something I really like about it is I don't have to use sugar so that's a bonus because usually I like like a creamer of some kind and then I use sugar my oldest is in here playing and I need him to take away the Xbox. Keep saying that. He keeps like hanging his head. So this room, it looks dirty, but it's it's actually pretty clean compared to what it was. I mean, it's still dirty. Don't get me wrong. I got sweep and everything else. But uh, so um, I also have I've done almost all my dishes, and then I made uh, veggie burgers. We had veggie burgers for dinner tonight. So. Um, I realized I also had a pot from soup from yesterday. So that is what's in my sink. And then this is like my travel mug. And then this is like the bowl that sits in my stove and the one that I use for my coffee spoon. That's the veggie burger pan. So yeah. But other than that, other than that, we're good. Debbie's room's good. So I'm going to let you go. I'm going to do these things. I'm going to edit this for you guys. And I am going to talk to you tomorrow. And 
I don't know what day of Vlogmas it'll be. It'll be whatever day we make of it. So, sorry. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.